In today's video, I'm going to show you how you're connecting a microphone to GarageBand so that you can record great vocal in GarageBand. Today's microphone is this type of microphone. It's a very popular recording microphone that's called uh, Rode, and it has this type of plug. So for you guys who are beginners or newbies, this type of uh, wire is to an audio box. So you have this type of microphone versus a USB microphone. Anyways, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you're connecting this type of microphone via the audio box to GarageBand and how you're actually going to set it all up and record. So let's just get started. Okay guys, now I've opened GarageBand and I just open an empty project and then I click mic or line. Then I am going to plug in my audio box and look what happens when I plug in my audio box. There we go. The last selected audio interface is not available. The previous selected interface audio box USB will be used instead this section. So I'm just clicking OK. And then the audio box is connected. All right, so I have my microphone here and I have the cord. Make sure that this is connected and it is not like yeah, that it's all the way plugged in, okay? So make sure that the wire is going all the way in, okay? And then I have my audio box here and you can see these two numbers. So this is because you are able to connect two different micro microphones. This is pretty much what all audio boxes look like. And so I'm just going to plug this one into the number one. There we go. And then this one is also called number one, as you can see. So this is how much it is taking in. So if you are yelling a lot, if you are doing a loud, loud song, I would put it like here. But if you are almost whispering, doing a Billie Eilish-ish song, I would put it a little bit over the middle, okay? And then this is to your headphones, because when you are recording, you want to have your own voice in your ears. So that's why I have my headset here. And then I am simply just going to plug in my headset to this little guy. And so we have our headphones, which is also how much you want your own voice, like how loud you want your own voice. And then you have main. I just put that in the middle and I put that one in the middle, okay? Which is called mixer. That's mixer and main and bones, okay? And just to show you what this wire looks like, it's it's a, a cable that is, um, yeah, I can take it out for a sec. It looks like this. It's also uh, what you use when you have a printer in your house. And this is a big jack to mini jack. Okay, so this is a big jack that is um, transforming to a mini jack, okay? So I'm going to link all of these things in the description box below so that you can see all of the things that you need if you want to connect your microphone to GarageBand via this type of audio box, okay? And this gives the best quality of your voice when you are recording. And I've had this gear for a very long time, so it is totally worth the small investment. Okay, so now we are back to GarageBand and I have connected the audio box to my computer, to my Mac. And then I'm simply going to go down here and click audio box one because you saw that I was plugging in to where it said one, you know, the microphone line one. So I'm going to choose one, okay? 
and then monitoring you want this to be on if you want to be able to listen to yourself in your headphones which you want to okay so now i can simply go record and i am able to record so that's how you connect your microphone to GarageBand. I hope that you found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure to give it a like. It is really going to help me out here on YouTube. And if you want to stay tuned for more GarageBand videos and more videos about how to be a musician on YouTube, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll get notified when I post new videos. I do post new videos every Thursday. So I would love to have you in my little music family. So have an amazing day and I hope to see you in another video. Bye.